Okay, I'm showing you a video on how to charge a battery on a Black & Decker Pivot Driver um, VersaPak. Now, I have the VersaPak Gold. The VersaPak Gold. And if you look on it, it says right here three point six volts DC okay now it's rated at one point two amps but I looked online and found that out it's a VP one one zero model but to create a charger for this all I did was I took a standard car charger just a regular sprint car charger that doesn't need to be in here just uh, for your cell phone and I went ahead and I cut it at the end and I spliced it and there's a black and a red wire coming out I don't know if you can see that black and a red but I went ahead and wire nutted. I took a jumper cable, cut that in half, and spliced them in with the car charger. And I took the red and I noted it as positive. The the black is negative, and I just indicated that by simply just coloring one of the cables black to symbolize it as the negative lead. Now this charger as most chargers for cell phones will be is uh, around 5 volts and this one is 5 volts 1 amp it's a DC charger okay so but I have uh, an adapter that plugs in and goes to a car, car charging outlet so if you don't have one of these, that's fine. That's just how I hooked it up because I had a spare charger laying around. You can just take a simple um, cell phone charger, but make sure that it's putting out on um, putting out only about five five uh, volts, uh, one amp at the most, um, and then cut it and splice it in like this okay red positive black negative and then on the battery itself the VersaPak battery made by Black & Decker the outside shell right here is negative this is your negative part the inside I noted it with a just a marker and I put a little plus sign in there making it positive but that is your positive right here, this little piece. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to hook this up. You're just going to take your wires. This one is my negative. So, I'm going to hook my negative wire right here. That way, this alligator clip is touching the outer shell. And then I'm going to try to stay away from that clip just so they don't accidentally touch. And I'm going to hook my positive to the inner shell by clipping it right here. Now you can tell this this battery is already a fully charged battery. So as you can tell it lit up my charger already without it even being plugged in. But what you go ahead and do is you just take this and if you have one of these adapters that's fine you just plug it in and let it charge and that is how you create a ba battery charger for a VersaPak Gold thank you and you guys have a great day and that's how you do it and I'll show you that it works So that is how you do it and 
Hope you guys have fun with this video, and hopefully I made it as easy as possible to understand. Again, this is your negative side, and the inner side is your positive. Don't get them mixed up, because it is DC voltage, direct current, which you can short it out and ruin the battery, so just keep that in mind.